everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch this video if you are new here hello there my name is Tammy thank you so much for clicking to watch this video please stick around and I hope you enjoy the video okay so today I'm gonna to be talking about a couple of things first is about watch time and the other is about live streaming and how those two either will make or break your channel you need to understand this concept because some people including myself you have been doing this incorrectly so here we go i'm going to categorize it by questions because i did research this online to try to find the best and the most accurate answers for this what is watch time watch time technically means audience retention how long your video is keeping that person to sit in front of either their phone or the tv to watch that video that's technically what watch time is keep that in the back of your mind every time you're creating a video are you doing this video for them to sit to watch throughout or are you going to make a video that someone will click off within 30 seconds of it either way it's still gonna be counted as a view. Mind you, not as a watch time. Watch time will be counted in minutes, but you can have 1,000 views. That 1,000 views could be 1,000 views of 30 seconds each. That's horrible, very, very bad. That's not good for watch time at all because you're not retaining anyone's attention on your video. Now, the first thing is, do live stream count as watch time? Now, the answer to that from what I got is, if someone is watching you while you're live streaming, then the length of time they sit in front of your video or your live stream to watch that live stream is going to count as an audience retention, which is as a view or as a watch time. Now, if you're live streaming for one hour and someone jumps in and connects with someone, but then only stay for like three minutes, maybe less than that, but then they leave to go to another person's video and then come back to your video. When they come back to your video, it's not going to count because the algorithm is so sophisticated enough to be able to monitor why or when someone or viewer is coming into your channel and leaving, coming back to your video, leaving your video. It's like you're going through a door coming back out constantly, in and out, in and out, in and out. So the algorithm is gonna look at you like, are you human or are you a bot? Why are you not sticking and staying and sitting here and retaining the attention that this video is giving you? So if you think about it, the algorithm or the system itself is sophisticated enough to be able to track or monitor the IP address you're watching from, the account you're watching from, the device you're watching from, and the browser you're watching from. There are three different browsers that I'm aware of, which is Safari, Explorer, and Chrome. If you're watching from either one of those, it can tell where you're watching from and also the IP address, the cookies that are you know embedded within that IP address. So if you think about it and you're on someone's live stream or even a regular video, if it's just a regular uploaded video, if you're pausing, rewinding on that same IP address on that same video without refreshing or clicking out or closing that uh, window and you just keep repeating and repeating, it's only gonna count that one time, the first time you started the video and for how long you stayed until you paused, clicked off or left. So if you are on someone's live stream and you leave that live stream, you're not doing that person any good, nor are you doing yourself any good because you are showing to the YouTube system that you're either spam or a bot, you're not human because you're not stable, you're not constant, you keep moving around. And it's going to alert the system that this person doesn't seem to, maybe is not enjoying this video and they keep hopping around. But eventually if you're not stable in a certain channel or a certain video, then you're putting your account at risk for being deleted. So you can record up to 12 hours of live stream. So once you record it and you upload it after you're done recording, anyone that goes to your live stream and watches your live stream, you know, depending on if they don't click out of it, you get watch time from that video. Now, let's understand what watch hour is. As far as the requirements for the for YouTube, we're, we're required to have 4,000 watch hours. And you do the math to that, you need 240,000 minutes. That's 20,000 minutes per month if you divide it by 12 months. So think about this. If a video goes viral or there's a, a new music out that everybody likes, that same video is getting different views from different accounts, different devices, different IP addresses, different browsers. So the YouTube system is sophisticated enough to understand that, oh, a lot of people like this video 
and it's a lot of different people from a lot of different parts of the world that are watching it so i'm gonna keep pushing it that's the idea of what a viral video is on a different level though if you are someone that is watching some your video or someone else's video over and over and over again consistently youtube might look at it as okay it's coming from the same ip address coming from the same account from the same device from the same browser and it's like every single day but it's just that one person not like several different devices several different accounts several different browsers then yeah you're putting your account at risk for being considered a bot that's because people used to do this in order to i guess get watch time or something youtube will not count repeated views if they are all coming over and over again from the same source so the advice here is for you to increase watch time for your channel or for anyone you're supporting you should whether it's live stream or a regular upload watch the video from the beginning to the end watch the ads for those that are monetized because you are supporting them that way monetarily as well as um you are increasing their watch time so that's the advice i have regarding and the explanation i have regarding watch time and live stream i hope this helps somebody out there and if you did or if you've gained something from it please give it a thumbs up and also if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe i will see you on my next video remember always to be thankful happy new year to everyone Mwah. and i will see you on my next video bye bye why are you watching this video well sorry about that my husband is doing something down there